bitch. <laughs> this whole this whole shit is a mood. Oh my god, if you can see this fucking frame. Yes, 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 Gemini. A mood as always, period. I don't give a fuck what they say. I'ma stick beside us. <laughs> I'ma stick beside us. Okay. <coughs> Some people scared to be your friend. Some people scared to be associated with you. The tall tales they be telling about Gemini's, honey. They be so like they are the obsession. It's an obsession for me. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's weird. And people want you to be responsible for their little uh, weirdo energy. But um, welcome to One Message in a Battle Tarot. My name is Juan and I am your spiritual advisor. This is where we call a spade a spade, period. All right. Thank you so much to my day ones for choosing me. <laughs> Rock steady. <laughs> That's what I heard. Rock steady, baby. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for choosing me. Because I choose you every motherfucking day, point blank and period. So much love to all my beautiful messengers. Um, in their respective places. Thank you. Listen, if you're new, make sure you subscribe, please. I want you to miss a motherfucking thing. Don't get caught lacking out in these streets because when it goes down, I'm going to say, I already told you. We already talked about it here, at least whatever pertains to us. Okay. I also like this video up front because that's how I like my love. Even if it ain't your business today is somebody's, right? Each one, teach one. And we Sip. Take it or leave it, bitch. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Maybe I'm going to start off. Make that the uh, thesis here. Take it or leave it, Gemini. Take it or leave it. Period. I feel like uh, we need to be very clear or to get very clear to people who are unclear. Does that make sense, Gemini? They're bewildered, confused. <laughs> what movie was that? I don't know. Take it or leave it. This is what it is. This is what you like. I don't. People want their problems to be your problems, and they're simply not. They're they're yours, right? They're yours, right? I I think that's your problem. Start setting down bags, Gemini. Start. Start setting down, like set up. Uh, I heard boundaries. Yes, uh, be stingy with be stingy with your time. Be stingy with your presence. All right, your presence is a blessing. Okay, it's a gift. <laughs> Protect your energy. Self care. Yes, and whatever that means to you. But I don't feel like self care necessarily has to mean a bunch of like everybody having access to your energy. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, no. And you like, uh, isolation, mistrust. All right. Could be a thing. I understand that too. You know, what are people's intentions? I don't know. I don't you get tired of the zoo. I don't know. I do, but you're not a prop Gemini. You know what I mean? You're not something like, I, I don't know. And again, also take it or leave it. Um, you are who you are, and that doesn't need explaining to uh, anyone, just those you choose to explain it to. But uh, don't change a thing. Yeah. Who, who's saying that? Was that Lionel Richie? I don't know what song that is, but he, it's, he's like, just he's, don't, take, don't change a thing about you. Yeah. I had someone come <laughs> coming on my shit the other day like, oh, you're just, I, I love you, but fuck you. I'm like, what? <laughs> Does that make any sense? Like, I love you, but fuck you. It's like, yeah, I like the way you do your thing, but your voice and your, and could you just do this? And I'm like, who the fuck are you? Is, is this my shit? I feel like people try to tell you about how to do you in your shit or in your space or in you have to like stop that like no just start checking motherfuckers uh for real but yeah i was like who the fuck are you if you don't like it like go like who like you really <laughs> boundaries again and that's when boundaries go up and you have to be stingy with your presence you have to you know because motherfuckers deal with you again it's like the zoo a commodity or some shit i don't know you know what i mean like you're a phenomenon again you look on any 
Twitter thread, any me, me, they're me, they're all, you know, who's the worst level? Oh my god, Gemini, blah, 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 and all this. They be making up all these uh fables and, and tales. Some of the shit is true, most of it is not true, but it's just like still the obsession with you uh and trying to dictate how you move and how you you know if you ain't got it you ain't got it but don't try to uh finesse or get mad because you don't have the light because you don't have the joy because you know like who the fuck are you <laughs> you know what i mean if you want to go through this motherfucker as a conundrum and i know what that is but i don't but somebody's a fucking conundrum <laughs> you know if you want to go through life as a conundrum cool why you why you mad at the light workers why you mad at the light you know what i mean because i'm liddy or whatever and 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 you're not then just be not motherfucker but don't come over here talking about like go go <laughs> you know go to your kind this ain't your tribe it ain't your motherfucking tribe get the fuck you know lord and I feel like you're just going to have to say it just like that and then be done. Move on. Like, I don't know. People are sadly mistaken here, Gemini. Okay, give me what Gemini needs to look out for in November. Take it or leave it. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm hearing. Yep. Can't nobody take my pride. Can't nobody hold me down. Oh, no. I got to keep on moving. Somebody getting locked the fuck up for some fuckery here. Period. <laughs> I got your ass. Look at Michael. This is Michael. Yes, bitch. Triumph over defeat. Okay. Look at Michael. Michael was going to look like that. The archangel. Yes. Bringing hell. Bringing the sword. Bringing the Lord's army. Yes. This is a seven. And this is a seven. Uh, here the six plus one is seven here but uh, first of all yes the calvary is what i'm hearing Ooh, i keep leaning over i don't want to just don't bring the whole thing over here but yes victory over um anything that's trying to hold you back anything that's trying to lock you down even if that means uh snatching up the devil themselves themselves for real these i heard wayward uh individual here that's also yeah i just saw that what was that um uh pain or something and sis called motherfucking homeboy and was like yeah go handle that over her <laughs> go handle that over that over there i'm gonna say over there but her came up so that it's a bitch somewhere involved that ain't me but anyway she was like yeah go uh handle so and so over there <laughs> and they met homie and put homie in the wall and shit yeah there's somebody here if you ain't getting put in the wall you get again putting up on solitary confinement uh, I I heard one bird over the cuckoo's nest, whatever movie that. Yeah, like um, or somebody. Yeah, man. Whew. The waiting game. Look at that on the bottom of the deck here. You ain't even got to do the heavy lifting here. This is heaven's angels army here, the army of the Lord. Fuck out of here, talking about it ain't no Calvary. You think it ain't? He died on Calvary, didn't he? Spiritual strength here. I'm hearing signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. The wait is over here. Give me an overall energy for Gemini. Yes. Yeah, this is a this is a job type of victory here. You know? You're about to see God move here. God's going to move some mountains because of how you, I feel like somebody took their L's and they just, or uh, whatever, but you'll finally be able to break uh, this cycle here. It's how you wait. I heard that um, sometimes, I don't know if it's a scripture or I've heard it in sermons or whatever, but they're like, this is giving me this waiting game of like when you have, when you're going through trials and tribulations and uh you know the pilgrim the different pilgrimages in the bible or whatever it's like well what do you do uh how do you behave while you're going through your trial and while the devil is attacking you and while you're going through adversity or press all is like how you're and you know you spun your way out of this to to uh from a from a fig tree with no fruit to uh fruit here i don't, I don't know how to explain it but 
it's because of how you waited in 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 your destitution and and barrenness and feeling isolated and feeling like you had no one i feel like because uh, and and you still upheld or stood up in some type of way that spirit comes in and really just lifts something uh i don't know it's like no apart in the red sea is uh the red sea or something yes the wheel the devil the justice card This is the hand here. Okay. Memories of love. Passion ignited here. I don't know. I just heard God is on your side here. Memories of love here. I feel like you went through some things and no matter what it looked like, you, I mean, I don't know, at least for me, <laughs> I was going through some things that were so motherfucking like crazy. And it's like, they say that in the Bible, they'll be like, oh, you know, they'll taunt you and say, your God does not love you. Look at how he left you. Look at how he, you know, look at how he's letting them attack you. Look at how he, you know, where is your God? That type of energy, right? And, and. And how you waited for uh, Calvary and heaven's angels and God to really, your faith, basically, <laughs> your walk. Somebody's faith walk was so, you know what I mean? So beautiful and how they walked and how they went through that God really, God come, it shows. <laughs> I can't even talk because it's so beautiful. It's like you thought I forgot about you here. Some of you had to remember above all of these things that you are a child of God, how God, how spirit, wh whoever, don't get into the debate down, like don't do that uh, a archaic shit. <laughs> We're talking about over the purity of love here. Like you held on to that and remember that you are not forgotten here. Okay, that's how you got triumph over the devil trying to keep you entrapped here. You held, yeah, the bloodstained banner. You had on, held on here. That's from my Pentecostals and <laughs> all that in their respective places. I know it's Bible numbers that watch tarot. I ain't going to tell nobody, but I know you do. Okay. But yeah, uh, that's just for anyone. How you uh, went, went through something, a major disruption in your life, possibly because of uh, manipulation, betrayal, backstabbing. Um, all of that here, uh, that you are shown how much you are loved, how you come out of this, they will know that you truly are a, a child of the most high here, how much, uh, your, 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 your testimony and, and you standing the test of time is a testament of how favored you are by God, how, uh, how loved you are by God, by spirit, because I mean, you're still here through all of this here. Yeah, disruption. Nine of Cups here. Greed, avarice, thievery, leisure. Yeah, this is somebody that takes more than their share here. Again, somebody uh, also may have a drinking problem. Somebody may also need to definitely go to rehab before that. All right, somebody uses love uh, as a manipulation. Can be arrogant. Uh, possibly a uh, vampire, leech type of energy here, greedy here. Somebody will be put away possibly because they're very disruptive or they get very disruptive possibly when they get inebriated or something like that. Um, here possibly. Somebody's ultimate... Um, wish fulfillment is getting yeah it's getting a hold of themselves here the tower something was a threat to your happiness and i just i just see that being um Maybe you maybe you've given up and just when you do give up just when you make up like okay i'm gonna just lay down i'm gonna just and then that's when victory Queen of Pentacles, yes. You never gave up. You never stopped fighting here. 
And because of that, um, even with oppositions from all sides, because of that, this is the reason why you are um, successful here. You literally had spirit fighting for you so you could really focus on bringing your dreams into fruition here. There was a force that was trying to stop that, that was trying to disrupt that to such a point that God and spirit steps in and kind of balances the uh, playing field here. Uh, again, with that hourglass, uh, time runs out like uh, trouble don't last always here. And I just feel like the energy of the tables really uh, turning here. I also feel like you have your ancestral team. The Holy Spirit is meeting your opposition here. They're, yeah, he's going to scatter them. They will be scattered. Yeah. Six of Cups here. Lovers Union. Trinity Divine. Divine Order here. Divine Balance here. There could be a masculine feeling like he's coming to a, uh, to the rescue or to the aid of a feminine here. Yeah, spirits say don't let go. Hold on to the promise. Yeah. Yes. You let go of what uh, you couldn't do within your own power. Focused on what um, God told you to focus on. Ace of Wands. Here. And the blessing and the outcome of this is so like you are really shown like. The true definition of, of 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 God's favor here and and loved. I feel I don't know. I just feel a lot of love. Like you'll be singled out as an expression of God's love, of God's uh, favor, of God's abundance here. Of God, yeah, because of um how you held your own in the face of uh adversity. Somebody's energy quiet. You know the mouth of the line here. Look. Uh, the pit here. They threw this man in the pit and expected them, uh, expected him to be eaten up, and he didn't. He walked out that motherfucker, and then they threw the boys in the pit with the fire to be consumed. And uh, you know, the ancestors always got in there or with them here. I mean, <laughs> it was probably a lot of situations you've come across where you weren't uh, meant to make it out alive or whatever. It's like, how are you still going? How are you still here? But you did something right. You let the right things go and held on to the things that you needed to hold on and what you needed to focus on for this new beginning here. I do see uh, a divine union and a partnership here. Someone moving or uh, I see an intercession like someone moving or interceding, or interceding, interceding on uh, someone's behalf and they have the full backing of spirit of the Holy Spirit here. What is this disruption and nine of cups here? King of Pentacles here. Yeah, that is a partnership. That is a marriage here. Someone definitely holds a torch for somebody. What's this triumph, Queen of Pentacles here? Someone is definitely uh, set free here. I feel like, I don't know, I feel the energy of a couple like you raise the same banner, you uh, the same flag here. I don't know. Somebody, uh, I feel like the energy of, I don't know, it's like a breaking shackles or, or breaking through uh, something here. Your idea of victory, your idea of triumph, your idea of success is holding up the banner for uh, God here. Basically being a good human or d doing uh, good things, good deeds and what's right. I see a lot of honor here. I see a lot of spiritual things and pushing away negativity, going back to the old, going back to the roots, going like, yeah, like that's beautiful. I feel like somebody gets a triumph over the, the um, matrix here. And um, I also feel like a feminine wins out because she because she waited because of her faith here.
sun. And that's like never giving up on your dream, never giving hope, no matter what uh, it looks like. You know, if you want to be married, you want to uh, have happiness, you want to have family, you want to be a good citizen of the world, not of society, but of the world. You know what I mean? The spiritual. Uh, all right. Just lean into it like it's, it's possible here. Someone definitely gets victory uh, over that. And I feel like all of uh, all of the universe conspiring to make this happen and, and block up anything that's trying to uh, disrupt that victory. Uh, there's victory over this. It was just a matter of time. I said that in another in another reading. It's just a matter of time. What's this waiting game? The Six of Cups. Yeah, somebody won because they bid their time and they knew it's like, I know, uh, I know, I know uh, my folk going to come, period. And that's how they ended up winning. They knew they never lost hope in that even in, uh, again, I, I keep hearing a lot of purgatory, but even in their imprisonment, what isolation, whatever they were going uh, through here, they held on to their faith. Yep. <laughs> Eight of Wands here. They put all their eggs in the right basket. God says you are heavily loved. You came and lift. Yeah, this burden has been lifted. You laid something down at the altar. This burden has been lifted. You let it go. And because you let it go, spiritual help came and stepped in here. And lifted that burden here. You got a new book again. And I see deliverance here. Once you finally surrendered. Once you finally surrendered, yes. Yes, and I also definitely see uh, whoever held out for uh, true fulfillment and relationship and marriage. Yes, you do meet that. There's a couple here, King and Queen of Pentacles here. You're going to build a nice little nest egg together here. This is an old time, old school love. Yeah, let's get away. Six of Swords here. You end up escaping. You end up escaping the tower here. You end up getting victory over that which was uh, meant to defeat you here. You on Route 66, baby. You're getting a hero's welcome is what I just heard here. Y'all look beautiful, uh, you and this, uh, this person. Y'all look good together for sure. Y'all make a handsome couple, as people would say, a handsome couple here. But it's good because I can see a feminine here was uh, allowed to remain, I mean, a feminine. And I don't like to get into gender roles and I ain't, you know, but just for the sake of just for the sake of like, yeah, it's, it's, it's not fun being in uh, masculine energy and having to live in this society and having to, you know, it's like it's crazy people out here. It's like not safe. Like it's. Like, that's not, that's nothing no woman, it, you know, wants to experience. So it's just like, I don't know, people value different things. I guess some bitches want bags. I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, I, you know, I want a SEAL team. I mean, I don't know. Like, I, you know, just uh, different. But yeah, I definitely see that for you. Uh, a provider and a protector here. I feel like once you realize you couldn't fight it in your own power, you gave it to the Most High, and then Most High sent out uh, his people. And then also, again, um, a divine uh, connection partnership here. Do the heavy lifting here. Women aren't made to be uh, men. Ground yourself, yes. That's what you did this entire time through whatever the suffering, disruption to your happiness. You kept telling yourself, gee, yeah, this is Jesus loves me because the Bible tells me so. Sometimes you go through some shit and it looks so crazy and so fucked up and people are so fucked up. And then you have to go back and you got to hear uh, Whitney Houston. Yes, Jesus loves me.
because the Bible tells me so, or whoever. Put whoever, plug whoever in there. Don't be petty. Like, just go with this shit sometimes. But you understand what I'm saying? You have to remind yourself that you are loved, you are favored, you are kept, you are despite these fucking monsters and these, you know, uh, weirdo uh, people in here. But I feel like you went through something. You used your intuition. You did your best to keep your peace. You cried. You shed. You transformed. Like you were stripped. I was just saying before I came into this reading, like my awakening was the harshest fucking like like bitch. Do you understand what you just went through? What you're going like? Do you do you <laughs> comprehend? And are these motherfuckers entertained? Uh, they may be. I don't think you are, but yeah, my fucking uh shit is like wow. That's that's what we doing. That's how we do awakening here. Ace of Wands here, like, um, yeah. But now look. It says, look to the stars. And I also hear, look at the stars. They shine for you. You are highly, like, you were talked about in the ethers and, um, and places. Your name is in places where you, uh, you haven't even walked into yet type of energy here. You're greatly admired, like, you were watched this whole time and you have a beautiful, a story here of overcoming and, and triumph and this couple here like you're also beautiful uh, I see a lot of healing energy and positivity someone's going to lift you motivate you encourage you help you to trust yourself help you to be uh, brave uh, into yourself uh, allow you and be there uh, so you can uh, be creative and be vocal about you know what I mean like it's all it all works out basically Okay. They tried to hold you down, but and uh, God, God said no, and it's just deliverance. All right, that's what I have for you. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Show me love on Patreon or wherever. All the information is below. Um, I appreciate you, and I love you with the highest love, Gemini One.